All right, three minutes down left at the top of the hour. The number one story, most of the issues, the most, this issue mostly likely number one in your house is illegal immigration in America. The breakdown of our border, we always focus on Texas and Arizona, but we cannot forget, forget about California. The second video, very similar to what we saw a couple of days ago, you have an operation now where these uh, illegal immigrants take this boat, they beach it in La Jolla. If you haven't been to San Diego, it is probably the nicest city in, this, in, in San Diego. It is rich. It's upper class. I mean, these cliffs are unbelievable. If you don't hit a seal on the way in, you'll be surprised. Uh, these guys beach it. There's a car waiting for them, and they go running in. Uh, they are now gone. Yeah, that first video you saw, the most recent one, shows that boat with suspected illegal immigrants landing on the San Diego beach. And then the last week video we saw of the boat full of the undocumented migrants, they were landing on the beach in San Diego, too, and they were running into this wealthy La Jolla neighborhood. Most of the houses there, the average house is like more than $2 million. You can see it's a beautiful, beautiful residential area. But this county spent $3 million caring for illegals. They're allotting another $3 million. Last year, over 300 migrants were moved into the San Diego airport because the shelters there ran out of room. This is the largest border city in California. Right. And this channel is one of the only places you're going to see these images. Uh, Bill Malusian uh, essentially got that video right there. This is the new stuff. This was taken, you know who, who took this? A guy named Jack. Uh, and he was out there in, in uh, San Diego with a GoPro. He's a, apparently a lifelong San Diego resident and he took these images. Obviously what's going on, in addition to uh, essentially beaching the boats, and it's becoming more and more common, is the smugglers, these human smugglers, are stealing a boat because it's not their boat. They can't buy a boat and then do that. It, uh, that doesn't make business sense. So they're stealing boats doing that. Uh, last week, Ainsley, when you were talking about the La Jolla situation, uh, that particular, when they ran into that upscale air, uh, area, naturally, just like Californians, Good Samaritan swimmers swam out to pick up the trash that the illegals had left behind, and a lot of the trash included fuel cans that were leaking into the water. But this is just a new way of getting the migrants who pay thousands of dollars per head, in some cases tens of thousands, into the United States. Those are what you call gotaways. Uh, those are, you know, those are like the people we don't know if they've got backpacks full of fentanyl. We just don't know. But it's more and more common. All right. Uh, by, the, uh, by the way, good to know we, we're running out of fighting age men. Uh, almost everybody that comes in here filling up our migrant centers, all young men who are running for their lives, the ones that actually give their story. And again, what are they doing here? Why aren't they staying in their own country? But in California, they're not going to be, be, even be pursued. In San Diego, they're releasing a lot of these migrants into the neighborhoods. They said from October to December of last year, 2023, the average, on average, they were releasing 637 per day. That doesn't include the ones that cross over illegally and get in the cars and, yeah. and get away. And by by the way, huge gang problems there. A lot of them go right from one gang to the next gang. My brother-in-law lives right there on the water, right next to the tracks, and uh, it's a problem. It is a significant problem. Meanwhile, uh, we've been talking about the migrant situation. Last week when we flew out of New Hampshire, we wound up taking off from the airport. Uh, Lawrence and I were at uh, Boston Logan last week, and, and uh, Lawrence, we were talking about, and you're in Boston right now, we were talking about how Boston Logan is being used to house migrants. Today is the last day they're gonna do that. They got a lot of bad publicity, and then the, now they're moving them someplace else, right? Yeah, they, they not only are moving them, they have moved them. And, and according to our law enforcement sources, they moved them in the middle of the, the night. Mm. And if you look at the door behind this, it may be hard for our camera guy, Nate the Great, to actually see it. There is a sign on the door that says, not open to the public. The interesting thing about that, guys, the public is paying for this. And nothing paints the picture more than when you look at the poverty rate here in Boston. It's at 17%. In this community, the Roxbury community, it's over 28%. So you got a lot of the residents that are frustrated, not because they're not compassionate to migrants and they, they don't understand people wanting a better life. They're saying they're currently struggling right now, trying to make ends meet, and their tax dollars are going to provide for illegal uh, migrants, guys. Yeah, but they're not putting them in nice places. They're not going to put them in the rich section. They got to put them in the working class section because rich people don't want illegal immigrants. They just want to say they're welcome here, but not near them. Right, Lawrence? 
that's the agitation when you talk to the black and Latino community that are here in this country legally. They're saying, why are they still considered exactly. the bottom of the barrel when it comes to these uh, politicians? And of course, you know the people with the money are saying, no, we don't want that. Money. Meanwhile, they're donating to all the campaigns, saying that they're so compassionate, but when push comes to shove, um, they want something different. Right. And, and right. you know, when you talk to the residents out here as well, uh, when you talk about their struggle and everything, their kids don't have a quality education. Yeah. We already talked about the poverty. So again, what are they going to do about this? And are they going to fix the communities first before they start providing for the migrants? Yeah. That's yet to be determined. And it's guys. happening everywhere. Remember. Uh a few weeks ago, we did the story in Brooklyn, where it wasn't one of the best neighborhoods in Brooklyn, wasn't the wealthy area. They told the James kids, Madison, don't come yeah. to school. We're going to use your gymnasium on the second floor to house migrants. Because it was cold. It was cold and of outside. course, it's really cold in Boston, Wendy. too. Uh, Lawrence is going to be there all morning long. But thank you very much, uh, Lawrence, for going back up there. So Boys, they're going to, yeah, they're going to Roxbury, today. where 45% of the population are black, 28% are Hispanic and Latino, and 14% are white. So don't put them in the nice areas, because then there might be a Martha's Vineyard moment where suddenly people realize the illegal immigrants have come home to say, to say hello, and they don't want to meet them. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.